welcome to your first Fembology lecture. I am lecturer Spooksy, and today we're going to be learning about the brief history of femboyism, what is a femboy, phrases you might need to know along your way, and a nice wee backstory which I'm sure will be very entertaining for us all. So let's get in with lesson one. Before we get into the anatomy of a femboy, let's find a few examples of one. So as we can see in this very nicely done Twitter page, we have ourselves a femboy. Now here is a perfect, well not perfect, mediocre example of what a femboy is. As we can see the hat, very necessary, as well as the mask. The mask is important, we'll get into why that is later. We also have the femboy eyes looking off to the side because there's nothing more ooh than that. Scrolling down we can see the sitting femboy with its arms folded. This is a good diagram to explain how a femboy will naturally pose itself when around others. Um, but let's first of all find out what is underneath all this. Not, not literally. So here is a diagram I drew earlier. As we can see we have the femboy standing. Now, one thing that might get you about this is it may look like a woman. However, if we, you know, if we zoom in closely here. Oh, a bit too much. Now, our first sign to determine this is a femboy and not actually a woman is the fact it's very flat chested. Now, you might get some chunky femboys in your lifetime, but this one, however, is not. Therefore, it's easy to determine it's not a woman. Coming down here, there's something different about this area which will deter you from thinking this is a woman. Now, I'll let you think what that might be in the comments. And I'll give you five seconds for that. Okay, if you've guessed socks, you're right. Femboys wear big socks. Now, we can easily see from this one that these ones go up to the thighs. That's important because we like our thighs. Thighs are comfy. Also, uh, they also have a cock, so there's that. Like to do, do this thing with our fingers, right? This is upside down, but we like to do this with our fingers to tell you guys that we're interested. This is common amongst most fanboys, not all of us do it, but you know, it's just something to look out for, so there's that. Anyway, back to fanboy anatomy, let's go into lesson two. <laughs> In this part we'll be learning about femboy phrases that can help you if you're a femboy. For example, when a femboy asks, put me on your fridge, your response to that should be, okay, ooh woo, poggers. Now let's all try that in the comment section. Okay, ooh woo, poggers. The reasoning behind this is that being put on a fridge as a femboy is the biggest honour that can be given. It is basically you telling them that they are more important to you than food. Now let's try this. Here are some other phrases you might need when encountering a femboy. One I want to point out specifically being good boy. When you say this, now we'll get into why this is so important later when we come to the history of femboyism, but this, uh, that, that phrase is important, keep that one in mind. So in this third lesson, we're going to be talking about why a femboy, why choose a femboy. And I want to point your attention towards a song which holds a very close place in my heart. It's called Femboy Friday, I very much recommend you go and listen to it just for the lyrical geniuses who wrote it. But there's a specific part of this which I want to drag your attention to. Posted up at the cafe, I'd be banging all these maids, but they all got a penis. I wonder if that makes me gay. Nah, I'm sure that it doesn't, and that ain't up her discussion. Touching as it is, it does bring me to my second point, which is femboys are women, but with the expansion pack, with the DLC, so to speak. You buy Fallout 4, but you get the expansion pack because it adds more. And in the lyrics, traps aren't gay, shut the fuck up, I don't care what you say. I think there is some truth in this. Anyway, let's go into lesson four. So 
in the final lesson we're going to be talking about fanboy backstories and fanboy history. So first of all what I'd like to talk about is the phrase which I mentioned back in the lesson two I think it was. The term good boy. Now I told you it was important and it was important because it dates back to the fanboy war of 86 where the term good boy ended the war because the final fanboy was petted, called a good boy and peace was made. Anyway there's some art which was discovered from this period of time and I wish to bring your attention to it now. Now as touching as it is, there is things we can take from this as we can learn what the war was over, for example, it says for the butty, which means the war was over the plug. I won't go into detail about, but yeah. Uh, the war was fought during the Knights Templar period, which is uh, a strange period in time. It was a kind of add-on from the Knights Templar, but some of them got a bit gay. This brings me back into my backstory and why I, I decided to join femboyism. Now my femboy journey began quite some time ago when I was younger. However, since then I've evolved and become better and and my YouTube channel, which you're all watching right now and hopefully gonna subscribe to. Yes, yes, you're gonna do that, you're gonna do that now, that sounds great. I've evolved, well, some would say, uh, devolved, but that's all up to perspective, we don't talk about that. I'm really sorry, mum and dad. I, I didn't mean for this to happen. For all my other quote unquote fans who know me on other sites, I have gained a kind of popularity base on more adult sites as well. Let's just say that, you know, I wish my YouTube career was doing as well as my Pornhub and OnlyFans career because, yeah. But anyway, being a femboy also meant that I ended up losing my anal virginity. Ah. Uh, but yeah, I don't really know what else for us to say. I really do hope you enjoyed this class, and if you do, please consider liking and subscribing because there's going to be some more videos coming out. And for those new to the channel and this being your first impression, I'm very, very sorry. We do gaming videos, I just wanted to do this because I thought it'd be funny, and I was drunk last night and had a, a massive idea about this video, so I ended up scribbling my drunk antics down to try and fucking make this. So here it is. Yeah, please consider liking and subscribing and I will see you guys in my next gaming video because this is a gaming channel, this isn't a fucking lesson class, so... Boy bitches!